Welcome to the part three of the Ranger series. Yes, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and please do contact Mr. Jericho here in Port Global City if you want to purchase and also be guided accordingly from his 22 years of Ford experience. All right, so I'm Ju, okay, by the way. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can negotiate with this huge screen. This is a big homework that we need to do because this is the new best upgrade after all that everybody wants. Okay, the eight inch and the 12 inch. The first one will be the brake hold system. It doesn't have a physical brake hold system. So at first I thought, oh man, that's a bummer. But then when we touch the screen, there is auto hold. Auto hold. So if you want to engage that, you need to put on your seat belt. You need to put on your seat belt for you to turn it on and off. Okay, on. So that, that works. So you don't have to press this. You can just press here. Okay, that's one hack. Even in the aircon, you can just press the entire uh, horizontal line, not necessarily the button itself. Okay, so what happens now is, okay, there is nothing there right now, but when you put it to drive and put the parking brake down, park brake is off, but the brake hold is on. So if I press gas, it turns off, but if I press the brake and just hold it for a long time, even just like a one second, it doesn't have to be pressed hard like the Euros. It just engages like that. And then when you put it to reverse, it goes like that as well so forward and backward so what I like about this one is not everyone would notice it but the truth is it is quite hassle when you have the brake hold on when you have the brake hold on engaged when you are reversing and going forward trying to park you I would always turn it off so that it won't engage because when it bites and then you will need a bit more of the push in the accelerator so you can disengage it. But this one is different. It automatically disengages when you put it to reverse. And when you put it to drive, it engages. But for peace of mind, I would turn it off like if there was a button here, but this one doesn't have a button here. So you have to do that. So there's one hassle gone. At least when you're reversing, you don't have to mind that. But when you're going forward again to make that fine adjustment, you will have the brake engage as well. Now, let me show you a bit of the screen. Since all our lights are off now, there we have a better screen. Uh, I think we want to turn this off. Yawn. So it has like an auto dimming effect. So now everything is quite bright. Look at this. If I turn the dial there, it just shows also on this eight inch and you can see the temperature going up. The turn signal, there you go. It's a one touch type of turn signal. And then the 12 inch. If you want to have anything to do with your vehicle setting, just press your Ranger, okay? And menu. Like you can downsize that, you can easily connect your stuff here and you can also do sketch. This is what I mentioned earlier. Like uh, if you need to like run errands and you have, a, you have no memo and you know you're gonna forget, uh -huh, you're gonna write here like that, like that, like that. And then save. And you can easily undo everything with one touch. Control the size of everything and stuff like that. Okay, you can connect Apple CarPlay, Android Auto wirelessly. You do have physical buttons for the AC controls, but you do also have controls integrated on this 12 inch screen. Now, everyone must be curious. How does the 360 look like? Okay, we'll go to that later, but we'll do the air condition first. Okay. Mm -mm. So look at this, this is really funny. Look, this is the full screen, the digital screen for the air condition. It's so clear, 
the interface is really nice and you do have the exact and you do have the exact interior of your ranger and look at this forward oh like a spider-man then down oh and also up Woo! <laughs> very quirky so you can you can you don't have to just uh touch this area you can touch anywhere here the entire uh horizontal area is your playground okay, that's easy so that's the front okay so that's easy you can also do this it almost feels like a uh, uh, ambient lighting control but it's not okay so when you press this you have plenty of menu uh, this is not all uh, you'll be surprised but this one radio phone media apple carplay android auto owners manual games also uh, as of now for the sync 4 system uh, the game is just sketch but i believe we the app the ford uh application might be coming right it might come so if it comes then you can probably connect your phone to your car by cloud and you can do whatever start a car temperature adjustment and add more features more games and all that and this one if you have kids now if you're parked and the kid gets bored and you don't want ipad this is it but once your child knows that you have this there's no turning back guys you will need to turn that on all the time so meaning you'll not be able to see the 360 cam <laughs> the camera okay, this is the 360 camera so how does it look like so if i open the door there you see that that's the top view you can even have more fine view like here on the left corner right corner here and here now i i'm just gonna give you the show you the basic features of this one because there will be a separate video for that for an extensive uh course on how you can use this and maximize the 12 inch screen okay next uh there that's front on 80 and the rear all these are guided guys now as of now it's not working but if you put it to reverse it will have guide lines or trajectory lines also the front so when you are engaged with this yes in case you don't know this is the off-road mode when you press that mm -hmm, it's like because we, okay we, let's just go to home let's go home there when you press this it turns on the off-road mode see that it shows the uh, what sh uh, what mode you're in and it also shows you the front camera that will not turn off okay it will stay on so you can see what's ahead of you so you might be losing this uh, if you uh, like customize it too much but as long as the camera is there i guess it's fine so yeah all these things working together like if you press this it will change there you see the change one more you see that so it became a rear wheel drive and it became a four wheel drive hey that's a lot of things already but there will be an extensive course uh in the next video so uh, you thought maybe this is it this is it pansit no when you press this beware you might not want to press it but let me show you just a sample this and this are actually the same okay and the brake hold button is not here but it's here so if you turn this on auto hold close door and fasten seat belt to enable just like other vehicles it needs you to be safe first okay and there's also a time okay <laughs> hmm. okay later now okay when you turn this on and it turns on then it will work like i would expect I would be happier if there was a, even a, you know, a pea-sized button here for that, but it is integrated here. Off-road, that's the same button. So, turn that off. Okay, I'm gonna press the additional settings. Shannon, and this is the very reason why I will need to do an extensive separate, vi separate video on this when I have more time. So, that's an amazing 
thing, right? So Ford Assistant, you can have different voice commands. Okay, you can have mobile apps, climate, media, phone, and radio. But all this, you will have. Uh, look at look at this. You can have a listen. You can have a wake word, or you can have a preferred wake word like this. You can either say this, 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 this. Let's say, okay, Ford Sync. As of now, it's this one pala. Hello, Ford. Oh, set temperature to 18. Setting temperature to 18 degrees. You see how accurate it is? Oh, I'm almost crying, you know. Even it understands Korean pronunciation. That's good. So it has plenty of things. So you have like, uh, uh, oh, that's too much already. Okay, let's go back. So you can actually update this so it gets even more intelligent. This one already feels like I'm doing uh, <laughs> the thing. Okay, let's stop this video for now. So please do watch part three if you want to watch the tech or this interface and this interface controls, all right? Okay, so that was the interior. Please do contact Mr. Jericho here in Ford Global City. He has more than 22 years of Ford experience. So he's the best person you can ask for guidance. All right. I'll see you in the next video. May your dreams come true. Hello.